Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company I'll be working with today is Lamoda Hair. I do want to go ahead and apologize for the quality of this video, as the original video would not download from my iCloud, so I had to literally screen record this video. But I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. Once again, I'll be working with Lamoda Hair. They sent me over a wig cap. Um, you will also receive lashes and an adjustable elastic band strap that if you want to make your hair into a wig, you can add it to the inside. I received a 20 inch 13 by four lace frontal. The lace is a light brown color and it is a Swiss lace. And they also sent me four bundles of 40 inch hair y'all, 40 inches. The frontal also did come pre-plucked, but um, off camera I did go ahead and bleach the knots and pluck the frontal some more. The hair was giving me little to no shedding and I can definitely appreciate that because we all hate hair who sheds too much. Right now I'm just doing a skin comparison of the lace on my skin just to give you guys an idea of how it would look. If you are very fair skinned, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't recommend this frontal. You would definitely need the transparent, but if you're about my skin tone or darker, you could definitely use this frontal. As you can see, those bundles are long. And I can definitely appreciate the fact that these bundles came thick. Like, I'll be working with another company with 40 inches. That, that video will be dropping soon as well. But this company, the hair was definitely thicker. And I use less bundles with this company. So I can definitely appreciate that even though it was 40 inches, it was still thick. Me, my cousin Pookie. So now we're finna just go ahead and do her a braid down. Did the same braid down for all my lace front wigs um, or full lace wigs. We're just gonna bring her straight to the back. And then we're gonna proceed to slick her edges back and then start applying her cap. Y'all don't mind my outfit either. Before I came to the shop, I got rained on so hard. It was so disrespectful, y'all. But yeah, just continue. Continue focusing on my cousin Pookie. So now with my caps, I love to actually put it over the client's um, face, like over. I usually would put it over the eyebrows, but now I like to put it over the eyes as well. I just feel like the more you stretch it down, like the better, like the more thinner the cap would be, the more melted like the cap would be as well. You definitely don't want to cover the client's nose or their mouth. You still want to let them breathe, but yeah, I like to, I like to take it all the way down. So now we're just gonna sew that cap onto her head and then we're gonna take Ruby Kisses level 10, the darkest one in the um in the two-sided makeup thingy. We're gonna apply that to her cap. I'm gonna cut the cap off. We're also gonna apply that same makeup to the inside of the frontal. And of course we're gonna clean her hairline with alcohol 91% or higher.
After you apply the makeup and you spray the free spray to dry the makeup, you're going to proceed to put the frontal wig on the client's head, position it in place exactly where you want it. You want to definitely make sure the hairline is in front of the edge of the cap. You want to brush everything out. You want to proceed to cut out the ear tabs and then proceed to sew down this wig. You'll actually see that now I... um. I actually separate um, some tracks in the back and I sew the wig on in between those tracks if the wig is maybe like too big. Cause I kinda like to make my wigs bigger than my client's head because I'd rather have a bigger wig than a smaller wig. So sometimes I can make them a little bit too big for their head. But you'll see exactly what I did and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a few moments. Once we are done sewing that wig, um, we're gonna peel back, not peel back, we're just gonna um, move the frontal back out of the way. The glue we'll be using today is Boho Active. This is my all time favorite glue, y'all. Like, yeah, I've been trying some other glues lately. I actually do like one glue that I'll be mentioning in another video. But yeah, Boho Active, that is gonna always be on my station. That, that glue is just like, that, that glue is the truth, y'all. So today we're doing three layers, but I'll only be showing one layer on camera. You're going to dot it along the edge of the cap. You want to definitely make sure you put the glue on the edge of the cap, but you also want to put it a little bit in front of the cap too on the skin because if you just if you just put the glue on the edge of the cap, if you sweat and your cap lift, it's going to start lifting your frontal too. You need to actually lay your frontal on your skin as well. That way you can make sure that you get more longevity out of your laces. So put it on the edge of your cap, but also smooth it onto the skin as well. Once that third layer is dry, you want to go ahead and lay your lace down. Do not let that glue stay clear for too long because you can actually let the glue dry out. And when you lay it down, yes, it'll stick, but it won't last long. It'll actually end up sliding back or popping up. So as soon as that glue turns clear, you guys, go ahead and lay it down. Once I lay it down, I'm going to blow dry with warm air at first, and then I'm going to end it with some cool air. Then I'm going to proceed to cut the lace off using my eyebrow razor and my shears if I need it. And you definitely want to make sure you take your time while cutting your lace off. Because that is like one of the most important parts of your wig. It can like literally make or break your wig. Do not rush 
cutting the lace off, take your time. If you feel like you need to add more glue, you can. But just take your time. You'll definitely get better results when you take your time and you're more precise. And now as you can see, all that lace is cut off. Her lace is looking really, really good right now. But we still want to melt it in some more because today we will not be doing any baby hairs at all. So we definitely want to make sure that lace is definitely melted in. So we're going to spray our free spray along the entire hairline of the frontal. Then we're going to tie it down with our elastic band. Shout out to Beautiful Hustler for giving me this tip, honey. Literally changed my lace game because that free spray literally helps melt your lace right on in further. Like, free spray is definitely such an essential product. Like, when it comes to laces, you literally have to have free spray. And now I'm just using my Slave by Jordan um, hair wax stick. We're going to use that to cover the tracks in the back as this is a custom made frontal wig so it is tracks in the back so we're going to separate a little piece from the back of the frontal to cover the tracks in the back also while the band is on we're going to go ahead and section the front of her bang off because we are doing a french bang style today and we're going to hot comb that forward just so the hair can already be in the direction that we need it to be so yes just continue watching
I apologize if you really can't see what I'm doing from this angle, but y'all, I literally did, literally did not know like how to position the camera and still be able to look and make sure like her hair was being cut right. So I do apologize. But basically, I just made two diagonal forward sections um, from the middle of the head, like the apex area. And we just sectioned off her bang. And now what I'm doing, I take a little piece out of the middle of the entire um, section of hair that I will be using for the bang. I cut it straight across using my shears. And I definitely cut it longer than I wanted at first. Because y'all, when you be trying to cut the bangs exactly the way you want it, and then you go back and bump them, honey, they be at the top of, they be at the top of your forehead. You be looking crazy. So cut them bangs longer than you want them at first. Then, you know, bump the hair. Go ahead and bump the hair. You know, see how it's looking. And then you can go back and cut it shorter and whatnot. Because I'm telling y'all, it's been so many times in the past. I cut the bangs exactly where I wanted to. And then I bumped them. And they went up. And I was like, ooh. Mm -mm. So just cut them longer than what you want them to. Um, once I cut that middle piece, I um, start cutting. I start going diagonally down at an angle with my shears. Just trying to get the hair. Um, I don't like the blunt bangs technically i kind of like the ends of the bang to be like frayed downwards type motion you know i just like bangs that aren't so perfect you know i used to do very like blunt bangs back then but that's just not the style anymore so as you can see i'm definitely bumping the hair as i go you know seeing what i want to take um do i want to take more off you know and we definitely want to get those sides bending in some more so just continue watching what I'm doing. And then once I get done, as you can see how that bang looks real heavy, we're gonna actually take the hair and we're gonna point, point cut. That's when you take your scissors and you cut upward. And what that does is you're keeping your length, but you're actually taking the weight out of the hair. And you definitely want that because like I said, we don't want those harsh, real hard, old school bump bangs. No, we want them free flowing. We want we want a few pieces longer than each other. We just want some real fly 2019 bangs. So just continue watching. I'm sorry that this angle isn't good enough for you all to see like the entire bang, but I really tried y'all. So yeah, take it easy on your boy. I tried. And now for the sides, we're going to put that hair in the ponytail. So we're going to separate a little side burn out of each side. And she's going to hold that eventually. We're going to use our wax stick and hot comb the hair up. Then we're going to use our freeze spray and comb out the hair into a ponytail. I really didn't show much of this. I don't think I may have. But y'all know how to pretty much put hair in a ponytail. That lace is looking really good though. Like, ooh, yeah. That lace is looking really good. And this is not HD lace. Once again, this is some regular Swiss lace.
And as you can see, the hair is done being put in the ponytail. But the ponytail is a little too thin for my liking. So we're gonna take some bundles, some scrap bundles. Or you can use you can um use a little bit of the hair if you don't use it all when you're making the wig. And you're just gonna take some glue and we're gonna wrap that thing right around the ponytail that we made out of the frontal. Then once we get done with that, we're gonna proceed to make our bun. We just made a little a little twisty ninja bun. And once you get your bun exactly where you want it to be, you're gonna take some bobby pins and make sure you bobby pin that bun in place because you do not want it to move and you do not want it to come down. And now that our bun is done, our bang is done, now we're gonna to proceed to get the back together. Now when I made this wig, I originally made, you know, I made this wig, it's a 40 inch wig. We had a side part, so I had went ahead and pressed the hair out already so the wig really just been sitting in my shop i just been waiting on my cousin to come home so the back of the hair is already straight we're just gonna go back and pretty much just touch it up a little bit and for those sideburns we left out we're just gonna cut them down with the razor comb and then just give them a little light bevel those we're not really worried about those are definitely free flowing as well we just wanted some kind of little cyber action type thing going on because we were actually inspired by um we're ever getting this look on a more jada back like i don't know maybe like two years ago i think maybe yeah that's what we really were going for today
And once everything is done, you're gonna take your chest away hairspray, spray the hair, make sure everything is in place. Then you're gonna take your Beyond the Zone, turn up the heat spray, and give the hair a beautiful glow. As you can see, my cousin is laid and slayed. Once again, this is the motor hair. This is a custom made frontal weave using four bundles of 40 inches and a 20 inch frontal. We went ahead and did this bun bang fringe style and I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We are over 135K now, I think. And yeah, I have so much, much great content coming soon, y'all. Stay patient with me, y'all. I got y'all. Love y'all. Thanks again. Goodbye.